to abide by the law, and more importantly, to remember the oath of service that they took. They swore to operate within the Constitution. They swore to operate within the confines of the law. We are appealing to police officers across the country not to be misled into using excessive force, into violating the Constitution and the rights of Kenyans, into engaging in extrajudicial killings and forced disappearances and other forms of torture. Let us remember the oath of service that we took. And the oath of service you took was to protect life and property, not to use your guns to kill innocent Kenyans. We are appealing to the Kenya Police Service to remember many other officers who are now before the courts, who are now pleading for mercy because they engaged in extra legal means while doing their work. If any police officer violates the constitution, violates the law, engages in extrajudicial killings, disappearances and torture, you will be arrested. You will be investigated. You will be prosecuted. And if found guilty, you will face the full wrath of the law. Following the concerns we raised during IG Jaffet Kome's recent vetting by Parliament regarding his track record, he promised under oath to work with and cooperate with IPOA. Police oversight has moved Kenya closer to a police service that abides by the law and respects the rights of the people.